What's up everybody, Nia here, and today I'm going to bring you a quick little tutorial on how to make a little sprint system. So you can see I'm walking here, and I have an animation blueprint for it. I press control, and the animation blueprint changes as well, and I press control, and it goes back. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to your content drawer, and you're going to find your third person character blueprint, or whatever character you're using it for. And you double click and open it real quick. We're going to go ahead and just delete this right now. So I'm going to be using the left control button, but you can just right click and, and type in and search for whatever button you're looking for. So the first thing we're going to do is come down here and create a new variable, make it a boolean and call it is sprinting. And so what we'll do is we'll come off of here and we'll make a flip flop. And what we'll do is for A, we'll type in set is sprinting. And we'll just hit control C and control V, make a second one. And we'll connect B to that one and we'll tick the box on the top one. So we're gonna right click in the middle and we're gonna type in get character movement. And we're gonna get that. We're gonna pull off of that and we're gonna type in set max walk speed. We're gonna connect this pin to the top and we're gonna hit control C, control V and paste it on the bottom and connect that pin up. And we're gonna connect the character movement to self. So for our max walk speed while sprinting, we're gonna set it to a thousand. And when we're not sprinting, we're gonna set it back to whatever it should have been. So we're gonna set it back to 600. So whatever your default character movement speed is, you want to set this to. And that's pretty much all you have to do within the event graph to actually have your sprint set up. Now to do the animations, if you haven't already watched my video on how to set up an animation blueprint in blend space, go watch that and then come back to this video. It explains how to create all the variables within the event graph as well as setting up your blend space with the speed set to 1000 with the sprint function in mind. When we come back here to our blueprint, we just hit play. We should be able to come in and we press control and we're sprinting. And then we press control again and it toggles off. You can make this so that it can be toggleable or you can hold it. All you have to do to be able to make it a holdable is you just delete the flip flop and you grab the pressed, drag it into the top, grab the released, drag it into the bottom. Compile, save. And now I hold it, I let go. I'm running, I'm running, I let go of the button, and it drops the sprint. So that's really quick, really simple, really easy, and I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, and if you'd like to see more tutorials in the future, leave me a like and a comment below on what you'd like to see a tutorial on. I appreciate the support, you guys, and I'll catch you later. Near out.